Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the histories, etymologies, and definitions of the words we use every day. Today we're looking at another word recommended by one of my patrons, Mark Sparing, and I'm going to attempt to explain this word in the most exoteric way possible. Today's word is esoteric, adjective, hidden, only available to a select few, either through membership in a group or background knowledge required. History and Etymology The word esoteric was originally attributed to Aristotle as a classification of his written material. It was separated into two categories. Exoteric referred to materials that were meant for consumption by the general public, and esoteric, on the other hand, referred to materials more appropriate for students in Aristotle's Lyceum, or in English, his school. The Oxford English Dictionary notes in their etymology for the word esoteric that Aristotle never used the word esoteric in that way. He's only recorded as ever using the word exoteric, and even then he only meant in the sense of popular material or untechnical material. The word esoteric was first used in writing in the works of Lucian, a satirist and rhetorician who lived in the mid-hundreds A.D. He was the first to ascribe this classification system to Aristotle. The word esoteric was then borrowed into the English language and was used in writing for the first time in the 1600s by Thomas Stanley in his four-volume book entitled The History of Philosophy. Thomas uses the word esoteric to describe the secret doctrines of Pythagoras. Yes, that Pythagoras, the, the one that's famous for the triangle formula. Pythagoras would only share these esoteric doctrines with a select few of his disciples who had mastered his material. Now we can trace the origin of the Greek root eso and esoteric to the Proto-Indo-European word ens or enzo, which is an extended form of the Proto-Indo-European root en, which means like in, like indoors or come inside, and is actually the origin of the English word in. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this exploration of the word esoteric, please leave a like. And if you'd like more explorations of the words we use every day, don't forget to subscribe so you can get my new videos as they come out. You can get more information on this word and links to the sources by following the link in the description below to the blog post about this video. And until next time, keep on learning!